What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's Louis from Original Broskies. Uh, obviously with Red Dead Redemption coming out literally today. I thought, you know, let's get, let's do a little intro video to the game. So let's, let's dive right into it, man. I mean, I've been looking forward to this game for a while, so I just hope it's good, man. I mean, the reviews has been getting all, you know, I think it's got like 100% at the moment, so it's crazy. I was waiting for some like narration coming up <laughs> for those clips. Here we go. <laughs> there he is. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. It's quite dark at the moment, but yeah! visually it's alright at the moment. But I have to wait and see when it's a little bit lighter to really have a look at the visuals. Oh, I like that. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Not you know, so Harrison, far the visuals are, see what we've got in terms of food. are really good. 
Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Stay inside, man. Stay inside. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some focus. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But, we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on. Hell of a speech, man. All right. We've got some work to do. This bit reminds me of that Tarantino film. What's it called? We both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Oh. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Yeah, don't worry about What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Guess we're taking right. control now. We need you strong. Okay. And this does look right. good, man. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. <laughs> Careful over this bridge here. Son, don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Oh. So, do you think it was a trap? I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> that many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Oh, hell no. Down that way. Okay. 
Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> hmm, I don't trust him. Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Damn, okay. <laughs> Just bunch me out of the way. And Mac, Sean, we don't know quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? <laughs> Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, <laughs> it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. Where's this guy taking us, man? Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Very true. Don't get shot, you know. Damn, look how deep that snow is. Damn. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Very true. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. You well, uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen, we can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> Look, there's a corpse right here. Oh, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. I hear you, just gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Yeah, look out this I got him.
Got him. He mugs him. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. <laughs> There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Let's take all that. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Some baked beans. Take all their food. <laughs> Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. Damn. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike found a dead body in the wagon outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Good idea. Let's just raid the place. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Sure thing. Meet me out here when you're done. Nothing there. Actually, yeah, it's looking good. Thank you. Oh, didn't want to go back up there, but kind of had no choice, did I? <laughs> Thank you. I think we searched my oh chest. Let's have a look in here. Come on, what's going on? No way. Over here. What's taking so long in there? Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. I'm looking for stuff, man. Just let me finish searching the place. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's go. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Damn. Bastard shot my cousin. Well, he's starving. I'm gonna break your neck. What's going on? Uh, this guy just jumped me. Oh. 
Oi. Hmm. I'm not gonna spare him. I'm not gonna spare him. No. Where's my gun? Oh. Oh, and my hat. Horses, man. I like the music. Hey, somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Home O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, no. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. 
Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. Huh? You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get your <laughs> <bed>. Shit. <laughs> I told you not to trust that guy. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. <laughs> Look for me. Thank you. <laughs> this way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Do you know what guys, I'm going to have to stop it there um, So this will be the first episode, I say it's an intro but It's kind of a full episode now but yeah um, So yeah, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and share it And we'll see you in episode 2 tomorrow